So I think the case for buying it is there's two things to separate here. Number one, I think Bitcoin as a currency, when people are looking at investing in it, it's still very early. We're just starting to see retail interest spike, and a lot of the buying activity we've seen over the last few weeks has primarily really been driven by retail investors. Institutional investors haven't really had a way to get into the asset class. And as you look at the launch of futures, I think many people were really pricing in that institutional money coming in with this recent run-up. So I think there will be a much bigger run coming in 2018 when more products and more instruments come to market. Um, we have three products under our Grayscale family, a Bitcoin investment trust that as of today has $2.6 billion in assets under management, starting at $300 million earlier this year. So just that growth alone has been a great indicator of the potential of this market. I think the second component is if we look at analogies to early internet investing, really there are no ways for people to invest in blockchain technology, which is kind of the broader theme here today. And so a lot of investors who are looking at this are saying, okay, really the only way for me to get involved in this broader technology shift happening today is to buy Bitcoin or digital currencies to get exposure to the broader blockchain movement. Yeah. Can't something be legit and be a bubble? I mean, why do people have to rush into it today, even if you think it's totally legitimate based on more than just hype and, and momentum? Even the, the, the most ardent <laughs> bulls like Mike Novogratz say, right. hey, it could go to 40,000, but this current iteration is, is a bubble. Sure, and I think that's where the decoupling of financial capital and production capital is really interesting. So what we are seeing is a lot of speculative investing, and I think it's normal in new technology paradigms to see quote-unquote bubbles forming. Um, we saw that in the early internet, we saw that with steam locomotives, we've seen that as a trend throughout history. But I think what's fundamentally different here is we're just getting started, and this financial speculation is fueling the development of infrastructure. We've invested in over 110 companies that are building infrastructure around digital currencies and all of those companies are raising money they're capitalizing themselves through ICOs or token offerings and they're using that money to build all of the infrastructure that's yeah. going to fuel this new financial system yeah I'm so thinking about an ICO and call it <laughs> Kelly coin and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna raise the money and do whatever I want with it everybody uh, else seems to have one. exactly <laughs> professor what do you think about Bitcoin you think it's a bubble well uh, the question is what's the definition of a bubble uh, to me, oh come uh, on! The, Isn't this the classic definition of one? The chart is off pair by its vertical. You know, if you look up "bubble" in the dictionary, you don't get a very good definition. I, in my book, I wrote about this. To me, a bubble is a time when there's great excitement about an investment, spurred by other stories of other people making a lot of money, driven by envy. Uh, people will buy things sight unseen out of excitement. Gambling sort of mood develops. That's a bubble, and. Uh, so if, if Sounds like we're checking say, all those boxes. But now, the thing is, a bubble isn't necessarily totally wrong. <laughs> That's the th it just goes too far. So, uh, yes, I think that Bitcoin is, has aspects of a bubble in it. Whether it has gone too far or not is just almost impossible to be sure about because we don't really know what, what's going to happen with these uh, brand new instruments. We, yeah. we, to the question, then, we, is it too late in your opinion? I don't even know if I should ask you this because I'm not sure what your opinion is of it then, but should people buy Bitcoin at these levels? Is there a case to make? If your you know, relative yeah. or friend or someone said to you, should I buy this thing, what would you tell them? You know, one of my students, he's a teenager, told me he was buying Bitcoin. So I said, <laughs> I hope you're not buying too much. And he said, well, it was less than one Bitcoin. So I think you can play with it. That's okay. And it was probably educational. But it'd be wrong to put a, a high percent of your portfolio in it because it, it, it may have gone up tenfold already, but that's not guaranteed. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.